A renegade Kung Fu Shred Guardian from the past, FaZe shifted to the future via a closely guarded, mysterious series of harmonics. A mission to save mankind from six during extinction, the last bastion of a lost and forgotten path. In search of planet Earth's greatest gadgets, gear, and tones, this is his story. This is Chapters TV. Premiere in, baby! And now, how to get breakfast. Step one, put bowl down. Step two, sit down with toast. Step three, jam. Four, put coffee down. Step five, drop sugar. This is the guitar that I bought with me to string and set up. And then Bia thought he'd lie on my bed and play it. Yeah. B might have written a thing, so that's good. Yep. Bia had never seen this before. Yep. And he gave me a, a slight odd sideward glance. Yep. This is nut lube. Put any nuts. Put it on, yeah, put any nuts. Pete's on a strict olive diet. That's all he's been eating for the last couple of days is just olives. Uh, should we just do uh, Sorry, Rob, let's do these photos now. That's finally, I was only doing a little bit to camera about olives. Will you stop looking at photographs of me? Right, just <laughs> slack them all over to uh, the web team. So just that people understand, these are the photographs that we, that Lee and I send out as, as little, if people ask for a photograph of us, this is what we send them. I know. It's all a bit weird, weird, weird. Having a quick in-between takes jam on this really delicious looking Super Countess on the Clean Channel. Can you believe it's the Clean Channel? It's crazy. <laughs> Is it closed? It oh no! Where are we going to find 20 sided dice from now? Argos? Yeah, that's a good shout actually. We know it does! If you told me how difficult it was to buy dice and a or coffee machine, machine, I would never have believed you. Absolutely never have believed you. Behind, behind the scenes, take three. Hey, we're now in Smith's, uh, really looking hard and almost giving up on life, trying to find dice. I have just spotted not only Mrs. Brown's ultimate card game, <laughs> but also, by the looks of things, a slightly sad and lonely several-year-old One Direction. The direct. That was the question I asked somebody on uh, Facebook the other day. If you could only, what was it? If you could only go in One Direction, <laughs> which one would it be? <laughs> 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 I'm totally getting this. I'm getting this, and I'm going to ask if they have dice, and then we're going to fight. Wait! Sticky slug? Hmm? You want to if I do? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? I have my own book. What's that? Captain Underpants and the Wrath of the Wicked Wedgie Woman. <laughs> Rob Chapman. Take a seat. Enjoy a drink. Greetings, this is Rob Chapman. How you doing? I'm in Germany. This is Beer. Uh, uh, that's Matt. Hello. I just found the chipmunks. Unchipmunked. Maybe I didn't treat you. Like <laughs> it. It slowed down to 16 speed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> This is a 30 or 40 year old Italian high-end coffee machine at Toman. You know, and that I, speaks volumes about stainless steel, doesn't it? It speaks volumes about the quality of Toman. I really think Lee should step up his coffee game, get something reasonable in the, in the room. No. If Toman photograph one of the Chapman yeah, guitars, it? if, if it's the guitar that you've bought, they give you the photograph. How nice is that? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot my phone so I can play a game. Thank you very much. <laughs> so nice to see they finished that commissioned art piece on me. <laughs> so there, man. So there, dude. Beer and I are about to do a playthrough of Catalyst. We are. In fact, we've never actually really done that before. We haven't done Catalyst. No. no. Beer's found a corny cool pedal. That does this sick thing, and you may have just written a cool riff for Door J. What's the pedal? It's a Wampler Velvet Fuzz, but check this ting out. I've got it set like ting. And watch, <laughs> and watch what happens. So, it's nice and all. Rip, delay, reverb, then. Oh, and this is my favorite. 
solo EP and one of the tunes is called In the Sunshine and this tune um, is a slide guitar tune so I've been busy setting up my ML3 Pro dish. I'm also tremendously sad because no one chose to eat this one pancake. If you try and use these fingers, this finger automatically, because it's connected by tendons, bends and if it's too long I feel like it inhibits the finger movement. It's an interesting thing, actually. I don't know whether all of you will know this or not, but if you um, if you have your hand like this and do this, if a tendon pops out, it shows interesting things about your genetic makeup. Some people have that, some people don't. While you're here, and while I'm here, why don't I teach you part of a riff? So this is the chorus to my tune Flash Flood from the new EP In The Sunshine coming out at some point in the future soon when I've finished recording, mixing and mastering it or my producer has. So the chorus to Flash Flood is really, really simple. He says dropping a pick and then awkwardly catching it. It goes like this. I'm tuned to E flat. These are all the chords you're gonna need. A. Or you just do this. And C. G. And A. And here's how I play the chorus. Once you've got to grips with the chords A, C, G, and A, all you've really got to learn is the little lick I play in the A chord. So I'm using a hybrid picking technique. So I'm using a plectrum, and these two fingers are picking or plucking the D and the G string. And so, this is what you do. Well, I'll turn that delay off too, because that will really get in the way of your, your life. <laughs> so we're going to be picking the A string, hammering down with the second and third finger on the left hand to the third fret and the fourth fret. Pick, hammer, hammer, and then I'm going to pluck, pluck on the D and G string, which I'm fretting down at the second fret with my first finger. See that? Now, if you've not done hybrid picking before, I would suggest getting this round and round and round, just go over it again and again. You want to get it nice and snappy. And you want no difference in the rhythm when you go from the picking and the hammering to the plucking. It should be one rhythm. Then we're going to hammer down, third finger to the fourth fret G string. And then we're going to pick. So that's pick as you bend. Return the bend, pull off to the first finger, and then pull off to the open string. I'm only bending it down a semitone. So. By the way, that 
that's a pre-bend. So I'm not going... I'm going... And then the same on the D string. Third fret, A string. And then pull the A with an Asheville stop. So you get this. Thank you. 